Royal Penguin Troops, Flurry here, and I don't want to go there yet, I guess. Even though that's where I thought I wanted to go. This is actually my special room, really? Uh-huh, it's my magic room. I'll turn everything, anything, I'll turn anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. I see, that's amazing. Let me show you, what color do you like best? I really like red, the color of blood, for some reason she likes it. But I don't really like red, never mind that. Choose between pink and blue, which do you like best? I like blue, you were supposed to say pink. I like pink better, so I'm going with pink. Why do you keep asking us? Alright, learn and watch. <laughs> Good day. What would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well. You may step aside. Let's go. Alright. I don't really like these dresses. It's too frilly. Then why are they here? Oh, these are my three special mirrors. Special? There's only one mirror of prey, and the truth is that they're a mirror of judgment. What do they do? Just come with me and I'll show you. You can definitely trust me after the last episode. Trust in Velta. Velta will not stir your own trust. <clears throat> These mirrors are mirrors of judgment. Whoever stands in front of them. Sounds scary. I'm misreading something. My bad. It's not scary. It's fun. Watch. I'll do it first since you're a scaredy cat. I'll mirror mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. <gasps> what? How am I not the fairest of them all? You told me that I was yeah. yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Well... You see, I'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judge. Oh no, I'm fine, Pelta. This is an order. You go up and get judged by the right mirror this instant. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There can only be one who can hold this title, Miss, and that person is you. I know, Elegant. Me, but I. That's enough. Yeah, she's a demonic little girl. Ega, got what it deserves. <laughs> Just let's go on to the next one. Alright. Mirror or truth? I will answer all your questions, but nothing but the truth. I will go first. Mirror, tell me who is the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. <laughs> ha ha ha, I knew it. It could only be you, then you, Felta. Right? No, let's go. It's your turn. What should I ask? I don't know. It's your turn, not mine. I'm gonna ask, what's my name? Mira, can you tell me what my name is? That is something you can only find out one day. Oh, well, that's how it is. Let's go to the... Ah, oh, come on. Mira or pray, I can only ask you to wish my command. Really? Any wish? Hmm, just what? I'll mirror mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Very well, princess. Your desire is my command. <laughs> With the raspberry sparkle. It worked! It's my favorite candy. Can I have something? Of course, the mirrors can do anything. Then I want my pocket what? mirror. What would you do something like that for? You already have one. Your desire is my command. Thank you, Mayor. I don't get it why you asked for another pocket mirror. I got it for you, Pelta. Here, you can take it. What? You look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would you want to do a stupid thing like that? Just get rid of something. I don't want you bothering my home, but I... Let's go! Follow me! You should have wished for what... Why can't you remember what, who you are in your name? Took you long enough. Don't ever make me wait like that again. Sorry. Brony. Bro. Bro. I don't.
don't know why I said that. Bro. Like, seriously? It took me five seconds, girl. But the, you need to chill. You need to tell me if you're a demonic demon or... This or Ooh, I like this room. This is my favorite. Same! I come here every night to look at the stars with Elegy. That this is a, your room, Felta? Yeah, come on, let's just <laughs> sit down and see the stars. Yep. Oh, look at her. So feels so comfortable, I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Elegant gets one for me. She really does like you, of course, and I love her out just as much as she loves me, don't you? See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do. You have me and Elegant, and isn't that enough for you? Oh, that's not what I meant. Somehow I just feel lonely. I have been for a long time, and I don't know why. I'm sorry to bother you, Velta. Hmm. I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you will never will have to be. Elegant and I will always be right here for you, even though I'm crazy. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Velta. Don't ever forget to thank her, too. Thank you, Elegant. <laughs> Elegant. Whatever your name is. Good. Okay, what do I do now? Actual. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. You, you have? What is it? Which floor of my dollhouse, do you, dollhouse would you like to live? What do you mean? Since you're going to live here from now on, I need to know where you'll be staying, <laughs> right? We'll make a whole floor just for you. What do you think, miss? Felta, I don't know if I want to stay here. Well then, do you want to live on the second floor? That'd be fine too. No, I mean I can't stay in your dollhouse. I have to go. Go where? I don't know exactly, but I have to know who I am. <laughs> Find out who you are, Felta, I can't stay here with you. Does that mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not gonna let you go anywhere. Felta, you already found me. What else do you need? Are you really gonna leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is with me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Now that that's settled, then where will you be staying? What do you think, Elegy? I don't need you to tell me that. Yep, she's psycho. <laughs> she's a pretty little psycho. Oh, look, <laughs> this is a shooting star. Let's make a wish. I wish you would leave me alone so that she can go on home. Oh, I don't have time to make you all the wishes. Oh, I... Oh, come on, don't be string, could you just tell me? <laughs> but you're not supposed to tell. Hmm, fine, then I won't if you don't. I'm getting tired, let's play. You're not going anywhere, miss, I told you before. You're my friend and you belong to no one else. If you try to leave, you know what will become of you, don't you? So let's play! <laughs> Answer me. Yes. Alright, let's go. Oh goodness, we're gonna have to figure out how to um pop her. How to put her lights out. Oh goodness gracious. Can we go up here now? Okay, I guess we can't. Ooh! This is nice tool. <laughs> here we are, my playground where I keep all my toys. You have so many. Obviously, I'm a princess after all. Let's go. Come on. Let's play. Play. Okay. Nothing. I'm clicking everything. <gasps> Click spam. Okay. Alrighty. Aha. Pumpkin charm. Don't mind if I do, because for some reason we are collecting these. Okay, it doesn't look like it can do anything else. Oh. 
well, anything else other than that? Can... this? This is my rocking horse. Okay. I think I cooked on just about everything now. I was trying to leave. How am I supposed to play? I know you've told me that. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to click the only two things that I obliviously didn't click. Hey, aren't they cute? Yeah, you have so many. Uh -uh. Let's play. Oh, but I don't know the rules. It's alright, I can explain the rules. What does it matter? She can just play anyway. <laughs> but I can't hear what Elegant says. Ugh, fine. I'll explain them to you since you're dumb. You're mean. All you have to do is catch butterflies. Whoever catches the most wins. Ah, I see. It sounds like fun. Alright, so when you go to the other cage, we will start. Are you ready? Oh, we take turns. Yeah, that's all I had to say. Stop. Yeah. You don't need to know. Stop that. Alright. I was about to get eight. <laughs> Good for you. I'm best at picking butterflies, aren't I? <laughs> I'm right, I'm best at everything. Now you can say your name, miss. You really can't, can you? But there's a truth. You can't possibly do anything without me. Besides, someone like you could never take my place. Isn't that right? She's not even, at the least, not you. <laughs> Belta, what do you want? Don't talk to such losers. If you want to talk to me again, you'll have to beat me on hide and seek. Not that way if you ever win. I'll go first. Count to ten. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. This was on the floor. Dear Diary, today my friend Cleo worked in the kitchen that disappeared. No one would tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since I asked her yesterday. That would be a terrible thing. She must be hungry. Too bad I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Dear Diary, I wish my twin s I had a twin sister that we could play together every day. Today was very sunny, and I played with Mother, and she spent time much in her room. She doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if it's because if she's sad that Father is away. I wish we had didn't live so far away from town. I never have any girls to play with her brothers. Spend too much time writing on his own. He won't tell me what he writes either. Maybe he will play with me if I were a boy. Oh, it, I hope Father brings me a very pretty doll. On his trip, and I can call Clara just as my friend. Today I felt just ill, and during class he had what brother said was a heart attack. If I, if it will be all right, he wasn't moving much either, and the doctor said to come visit. I'm glad the class ended early so I can pay, play in the garden, but it started raining, so I had to stay inside. It's really boring, so I decided to go into my mother's room. She isn't there anymore. I don't like a mother. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Elegant, and we've been friends for a long time now. She really likes the tea, and she's so sweet to me. I never let my brother touch her. He'll, I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. He doesn't like 
boys and neither do the brutes. And it's obvious that father isn't a boy and the war don't understand him. Being with Elegant is really fun and I feel like I'm always with her. She tells me everything and stories too. My favorite place, my favorite story is about the one, the best dancers in the kingdom. She said that the good dancers were very elegant. The fox had a red dress and she would teach me how to dance tomorrow. I love her. Today was really a bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Elegant told me was very stupid. Today was about some witch and picked up the forest and picked up berries. It sounds so boring. I bet they tasted dirty. I think the magic that I don't care that I didn't like them. So stupid I hated it. My favorite color is pink. Elegant likes pink very much too. When my eyes turn pink, I play dress up with Elegant and then we wear pink dresses. But then I have to cut my hair because it gets too long and I like it shorter. Whose diary? Really? That's not Felto's. I'm pretty sure it's Felto's. Uh, the, I didn't check down there, but um, I want to save it. Oh my goodness. Alright, Penguin Truth, we will continue this game of hide and seek in the next episode and find out what other crazy shenanigans Felt has for us. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Bye!